Well, hey, this is Josh Nelson with Plumbing and HVAC SEO. And you may or may not be aware, but Google recently made a major change to the Google Map listings. They changed what used to be Google Places or Google Plus Local to what's now Google My Business. And this is a, a brand new change that's going to be for the betterment of you as, as the owner of a plumbing or HVAC business. Now, of course, you know it's important to be on the cutting edge of what's happening with Google Maps because the number one place people look right now in today's environment when they need plumbing or HVAC related services is Google. They're going to Google, they're typing in your city plumber, your city plumbing, your city emergency plumber, your city water heater repair. Uh, they're, they're typing in your city heating contractor, AC repair, air conditioning technician. And the number one place they look within the Google search is the Google map listings, which is highlighted here. So it's important that you're aware there's been some major changes, and we've recorded a brief video for you that explains what Google My Business is, kind of what the new dashboard looks like, some of the things you want to pay close attention to uh, as you continue to optimize and try and maximize your, your internet marketing strategy. So watch this video, and um, I hope you get a lot of value out of it. Adrian with Plumbers SEO. This video is an introduction to the new Google My Business. Google has recently updated and pushed the new look to places and it is one that will make things simpler and more unified when managing your business profile online and having your presence felt across Google. The GMB now merges your business dashboard with your Google Plus business page and Google Maps into one seamless dashboard. The dashboard now has sections for each Google service that you do use and it even makes suggestions to some other services that can help your business grow and develop a strong profile within Google. These sections, if you notice, they give you a small overview, small sample of the last 30 days, the information that's relevant to your business for each section. In the insight, it tells you the views that you've had in the last 30 days, how many clicks, how many new followers you have. This is relevant to your business page on Google+. The reviews, it manages the reviews on Google, the reviews around the web, and what the Google rating is for your reviews. Analytics allows you to see within the last 30 days how many people have visited your website, shows you how many new visits, how many unique visitors, how many page views, and your YouTube channel for the last 30 days, how many new subscribers, how many views, and how many minutes watched people have been spending on your channel. Within these small sections, these blue buttons, you can press them and it'll take you automatically to that section that you need to go to, or you can go to the app switcher up here and go to that section individually. So let's look at some of these new sections that are shown on the GMB dashboard. Let's start with the business info editor. You click edit for your business information. The completion bar is displayed and shows a list of things that need to be done in order to have it at 100%. In this case, since there's nothing to do, it's not going to show you anything. Each specific box opens up a dedicated box when you edit that field. So if we click on business name, you notice opens a brand new box within the page, edit the business name, click save, take you back to the business info dashboard. Same thing, you go to another one, same concept. The bottom of this dashboard still shows the other options from the previous version. Shows you to delete this page, report problems with this page, get help with this page. View buttons are also now shown so you can see how your company looks on Google within the Google search, Google Maps, Google Plus. Right from the business dashboard on the main page, you can share updates in any form to your Google Plus page. You can share text, photo, links, videos, and events that you want to share without having to go to your actual page. From your dashboard, you're able to do this and also visit different areas in your Google Plus page. You click here, this drop down menu is going to take you to the Google page, to your stream, so all your postings, anything that you follow, the people, all your friends, the ones who you're in circle with, your business partners, and any photos that you have placed or that haven't placed into the postings for you. Review section, you are able to see any reviews that are left to you from the Google users and from any reviews around the web that are showing up in your account. The Google users, if any review 
were to be left from them, you're able to click on the review, a separate box opens, similar to the same box that you see in your business info profile, and you can reply automatically to that review without having to go to another page or go somewhere else. You can do that directly from this dashboard. This is the insight section. This pretty much shows the visibility, the engagement, the audience for your Google Plus business profile. The visibility shows you how many clicks and how many views your page has had. The engagement shows you how many actions on posts, how many recent posts you have, and an average action by the post. And in the audience, it pretty much breaks it down by your followers and then by what country and the gender and their age. That way it helps you figure out what demographic your business is targeting and whether to expand or not because maybe people are from further away need your services. Some other sections included within this dashboard is the Google Analytics, the YouTube, the Hangout. The Google Analytics pretty much shows you how your website has been doing for the last 30 days, how many new visitors, how many unique visitors, how many page views. By clicking here, it takes you to a whole separate tab that shows you in depth your Google Analytics. Here, you have a YouTube channel that's linked to your Google Plus business account. It shows you how many new subscribers you have, how many views, how many minutes have been watched. You can click here, new tab is open, takes you to your YouTube channel. Here, this is the Hangout section. Pretty much, this lets you have a video call with your followers, like it says here, but it also lets you do conference calls. It lets you have a conversation, a video conference, with up to 10 people. Well, these are some of the new and updated features that the new Google My Business has to offer the business owner and to help you go ahead and be productive. As we learn more information, I'll post a follow-up video as a reference with more details, certain sections, and some of the things that weren't covered in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. So as you can see, Google's made some major changes to their Google Map process, where it's now on Google My Business which is gonna have a huge impact on you ranking potentially better in the, in the Google Map listings. And you wanna make sure that you're staying on top of these changes and that you're taking advantage of them as soon as possible to give yourself the competitive edge against the competition going forward. If you'd like to learn more about Google Places uh, or Google My Business, uh, you can go to plumberseo.net slash my-business. There you'll find more details on how this change can be uh, implemented in your business, or you can call us anytime directly at 866-610-4647. Thanks for your time. If you got value from this, please post your comments wherever you saw this video, and we'll look forward to talking with you soon.